heart. Two. Now make it. Hey guys, welcome to Art2. Today we are talking about how to easily create designs for your t-shirt business either through Redbubble or for any other print-on-demand site that you might be working with. The whole uh, thing about making money with print-on-demand is to have tons of designs. The more designs that you can get out there on various platforms, the more chances people are going to find those designs and you'll start to make money. So when uh, I first started Print On Demand, I only had a few designs and it took a while before I actually saw anybody purchasing uh, some of those designs. So the moment that I stepped up my game and I started to add a whole bunch of designs to the different platforms and started to move into more and more print-on-demand sites, uh, I started to see the sales. So for my success, I just want to share that with you guys so that you guys can do the same thing and make more money with your digital art. So the key to this is to create more designs and be quick about it. So you can turn out designs really quickly if you know what you're doing and you have the right software. And that's what this video is all about and we're going to get into it. So let's go guys. Okay, so one of the tools that I use to create t-shirts is actually called Be Funky. It's sort of an alternative to Photoshop. It's a web browser based uh, app, basically. So you don't have to install anything or download any uh, programs. All you need to do is log into their website, either use it as a, a free account or you can pay for the upgraded features. A lot of the stuff that uh, is more advanced is locked. So you do have to pay to uh, unlock some features of this website. But there are enough free features that you can get started designing t-shirts within minutes and have some really cool designs uh, so let's get into just creating a basic t-shirt and show you guys how uh, I would set it up so hey guys if you like this type of content and you want to make money with your art don't forget to subscribe to the channel and we'll talk more about print on demand in future videos but today let's get into be funky uh, so we've hit the get started button we haven't paid for an account it's just the free uh, version of the website and we've gone to the design uh, section you can also photo edit uh, your pictures you can uh, make collages but we're going into design because we want to start with uh, creating just a basic t-shirt so there isn't any preset t-shirt setting uh, on be funky that I could find uh, the highest pixels that I can go to was 480 by 480 and that's what I've used for this example uh, basically we want to use the biggest pixel size that we can to create a t-shirt and then we can always resize it in a different program or something uh, online but for now uh, we've gone in created our blank document and uh, the canvas is ready for us to start to create something so we can change the background uh, we can add shapes we'll uh, add like a circle and add something, uh, make this a little bit bigger. Uh, so this is just a basic uh, t-shirt design. We're just getting started playing around with the uh, Be Funky website to see what we can do and show you guys how easy it is to get into this website and start creating uh, your own designs. So we got the circle, we got the background, and now we might add some text. We can also fill, we could have changed the color from white to something else, uh, whatever you want to play with. So it's your canvas, you can design whatever you want. So we're adding some text. Uh, so we're just going to say red bubble test just to uh, have something on there and obviously you can change that to whatever you'd prefer so we can change the fonts uh, we can change the color we can bold it we can center it we can do all sorts of different things with the text uh, option so let's get into that and we're going to change that up so as you guys can see there's a whole bunch of uh, different fonts that you can use for your design uh, I kind of like this one, so we're going to go with this one just as a test. Now we've got to play around with it to get it to the right size of what we want to do with this particular design. So we can uh, stretch it, uh, we can move things around, it depends on what you want to do with the, the design. So we're just going to sort of center that. Uh, let's see if we can make the text a little bit bigger and play around with that. Okay, so we've got the text to uh, a fairly comfortable reading size there. And now we can center it move stuff around it's just a little tricky sometimes to figure out where you're grabbing the uh, the image but there we go so we've centered that now if we wanted to add uh, one of our own images something that we've created we could also bring that into the uh, canvas and work with that so as you guys can see within just a couple minutes of playing around with the uh, be funky website I've created something I mean I could go further this is just an example to show you some of the features your creativity is what's going to create that design so when you go into this website uh, you can see that you have a lot of options of things you can do for free and with the photo editing you can actually turn things into art 
So that was another interesting feature of this website was to actually go in and use the art uh, function where you can take a picture and turn it into digital art. Um, if you're creative, you can find a lot of uses for that particular part of the program uh, on this website. You can remove backgrounds. So there is so many things that you'd have to play around with and really try for yourselves to get uh, going on Be Funky. But as you can see, just from taking this quick look, this little uh, uh, gander, if you want to call it, uh, at the site, you guys can see that uh, there is a lot of things that graphic designers can do to create uh, t-shirt designs that you can sell on Redbubble or other print-on-demand websites. So if you guys spent some time on Be Funky and learned how to maximize all the features on the site, you should be able to come up with some cool designs that are popping and that you can sell through Redbubble or other print-on-demand sites. So I hope you enjoyed this content. If you did, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you know when the next video comes up, and if you hit the like button, we get found in the YouTube algorithm and that helps the channel. So we hope you enjoy that and we'll see you guys in the next one with more print on demand uh, information topics that uh, will help you make money by selling your art online. See you guys soon.